All right, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of YouTube. This is Pastor Dow here. I'm here with you today, this morning. I want to go over a particular word, okay? And that word is called offended. Offended. Now, the word offended comes from the Greek um, 4624, uh, which means scandaliso, uh, which carries, means to scandalize, to entice, to apostasy, um, or displeasure, to make, to offend, or to trip up, to entrap. All right? And then it changed to uh, Greek number 4625, which says scandal. So anytime someone is offended, it comes from a scandal. It's a trap stick. That is a snare, figuratively, cause of the displeasure of sin. Occasionally, to fall or to stumbling offense that uh, the thing that offends or stumbling block. That means that some way, somehow, something has entered into your eye gate or ear gate that causes you to offend, to offend, to be offended, or causes you to sin. Now, there are two, di two different types of offenses that happen in the world, though uh, there are direct offenses, then indirect offenses. A direct offense is where a brother has personally trespassed against you, or... Um, we'll get into what Yahshua has to say as well, or either we are offended and we choose to be offended, and then that's personal to the person, and then we have to do something about it ourselves. Or either someone is accusing or slandering, putting forth the finger, um, and they're causing you to be offended or entrapped or snared by their words, and they cause you to be offended with someone who has personally done nothing wrong to you whatsoever at all. But you choose to be entrapped, you choose to be tripped up, you choose to be offended, to make yourself offended uh, because of, well, I don't like the shoes that this person is wearing, or I don't like the car that he's driving, I don't think he should have that truck that he's driving. Those are indirect offenses, which is basically something you choose within your own right or your own self to be offended. Now, Proverbs 18.29 says, a brother offended is harder to be won than a strong city. And their contentions are like the bars of a castle. Notice, their contentions. So the word offended in the Hebrew in this instance, it, it means to rebel. That means if you're offended, that means you are in, you're, you're in a rebellious spirit to rebel, to transgress, or to revolt. It's like you're trying to garner some people together to get together in this insurrection to revolt against. So the Hebrew word offended in Proverbs 18, 19 is the Hebrew word 65, 86. And it means to rebel, to transgress, or to revolt. And of course, when you watch people and you see their spirits, their, their countenance gets hardened. Uh, they're in a very stubborn, rebellious state. Um, and because they're in transgression, and they are revolting. Now, and also the word contentious in the same passage of Proverbs 18, 19. Contentious is the Hebrew number 4079. And that Hebrew word 4079, contentions, mean brawling or contentious or strife. Brawling or contentious or strife. Now, let's go up here and let's read in, in Matthew 18, verse 7. Um, through nine, and let's see what Yahshua, Jesus, the Messiah, had to say. It says, Woe unto the world because of offenses. For it must be, needs be, that offenses come. So it, it, the world has a woe unto it because of offenses, but, but you're not going to stop them. They are going to come. You and you alone are responsible for what you allow to enter into your eyes, that enters into your ears, and that you allow to enter into your heart. And it's a choice. You, you get to pick or choose to be offended. And look what it says. Woe unto the world because of offenses. For it must needs be that offenses come. But woe to that man by whom the offense cometh. So that means if you choose to be offended, you have a woe on you according to the Messiah. Wherefore, if thy right hand or thy foot shall do what? Offend thee. If your right hand or your foot causes you to move in such a manner or go in such a way. Look, they didn't tell you to go cast your the right hand or the foot off of 
or your hand or your foot off of your brother or your sister or someone else. It tells you, gives you the instruction. Why? Because he says, wherefore, if your hand offend you, cut them off and cast them from thee, for it is better for thee to enter into life, halt or maim, rather than having two hands or two feet to be cast into everlasting fire. So it's not, Yahshua is not really truly uh, speaking favorably of the people who choose to be offended. Because again, like I said, this is this one is personal to the person. He's not telling you to go and cut the hand and the foot off of your brother or your sister or your wife or, or, or anyone else. He's, he's, he's making it personal to you. If you are offended, because when a, a person is offended, you are the one that feels that revolt. You are the one that feels that rebelness. You are the one that feels that contention. And then look what he says. And if thy eye offend thee, that means if you can look at something and it causes you to be offended, pluck it out. Cast it from you. Why? So that you don't see it that way. You don't you view it from those lenses. It is better for thee to enter into life with one eye rather than having two eyes to be cast into hell fire. So two analogies here, hand and foot, then he uses eye and both of them end. It's better for you to cut this off, cut this offense off from you because if you don't, the analogy that, he, that the Messiah is saying, you're going to end up in everlasting fire. She owed the mark of the underworld. You're the one who's going to end up going into hell. That's what it says. And so, and people need to see this. And because he's, I've given you a passage from the old. I've given you what Yahshua the Messiah said from the new. And I tell you, this scandal and this scandal monger and this stuff and, and, and causing yourself to be worked up and to be offended over someone that has personally never, ever, ever transgressed against you. You have got to be careful because a lot of people out there are ministering to your flesh. And if you're walking more in the flesh than in the spirit, it's very easy for you to be offended. Hope this word delivers. I do. Hope it sets free. All right. Hey. I hope you learned something. Hope I've been able to serve you well. Shalom, shalom. Israel the king is coming.